This is Malia and welcome to our very first Shop Our Shelves sale. Um, in just a few seconds here, um, we will start to go through each item on one of our shelves in our shop. We've got vintage items, we've got metaphysical items, um, and this is going to be really easy and really fun. Hey there everybody, it is Malia with Inner Perfect and we are doing a bit of a Shop Our Shelves SOS sale today. And um, this is the very first one, so welcome. All right, so I'm gonna flip the camera around and I'm gonna start showing you what we have on our shelf. All right, so the first item is super cool. It is actually pretty old. It is a pewter piece and it looks like a horn. Great for uh, ceremonial use. And this is our pewter horn mug, and it is $18. You can see how big it is here. It's kind of heavy. And the next item we have, I love this piece so much. It is a vintage. Um, decorative piece. Show you all the way around here. And this piece is $39. About the same height as our nice mug there. Looks like we have one of these left. This is a vintage Belgian apothecary jar. It is so cute. You can see it is stamped on the bottom, made in Belgium. Hold on. There we go. <laughs> made in Belgium. The top does come off. And there is a little plastic kind of um, airproof seal there. A little taller there than our two items that we just showed. But that is our Belgian apothecary jar, and it is 24. If you know me, you know that I love shells. This is a gorgeous whole conch shell. This came from an estate sale. It is old, it is special. And this piece has no price on it. <laughs> so no price tag. Um, we can do $30 on this piece. It is huge, it is perfect. It is lovely, $30 on the conch shell. All right, next we have an offering bowl. There are a couple of free little um, Chinese Zodiac wheels in here. But the offering bowl is handmade, it is $22. Give you a look around the glaze there on the outside. It's actually kind of, um, almost slightly opalescent in some places. Really nice, gorgeous, earthy colors. Definitely hand formed. There is like a little, like a little crack right there. It's just right there on the edge though, but this piece would be on the inside completely um, like waterproof. So that offering bowl, 22. Now, this piece that was inside is um, it's like a vintage like macerator or masher. It's an antique piece. It is wood. It is oh, at least 12 inches tall. It is $8. And we have an altar cloth here. This altar cloth is cotton. It is 36 by 36, so three feet by three feet. And we'll go ahead and open this up. And this has a beautiful tricutra design on it. That is half of the tricutra there. And then of course, the rest of the design is on the back. This has um, a silver tricutra in the middle, and then there is gold kind of Celtic knot design all around the edge. This is a really, really pretty altar piece, like an altar cloth. 
And this piece is $16 for this ultra cloth, 36 by 36 inches. We have several of these cute little bags. Um, these bags are $5 a piece. Um, since we're shopping our shelves, we will feature this one for five. It is made out of um, vintage sari material that has been repurposed into a drawstring bag. I love vintage glassware and this bowl is really pretty. It would be nice for storing crystals in, um, maybe dish of water or salt water on your altar. This bowl is vintage and it is made in Japan. I'll show you in a moment how it's stamped on the bottom, but it's only seven. Uh, let's see, next piece. This is a super cool vase here, $24.95. Uh, not signed on the bottom, but it is watertight. You could, of course, use this as a vase. You could store moon water in it, but that is a really awesome piece. All right, next shelf. We have another ultra cloth here. This is purple, and it is also a 36 by 36. The material is a little bit thinner, okay? It's going to have a really nice drape to it. And this ultra cloth is $10. And the design on here is going to be a pentacle. So we have a five pointed star and a circle. And then again, we have the Celtic knot design on the edge. And this is purple with just a black print on it. So purple ultra cloth. All right, another beautiful offering plate. This is a nice oval dish. This platter is also marked Japan on the bottom. It has a really pretty floral design. It would be great for, of course, storing your crystals on, any kind of your altar supplies, cooking, right? Serving your things on it. And here is the stamp on this one. Kind of average wear and tear. There is like uh, the gold rim here. Some of it's kind of, you know, rubbed off, but this is a really nice vintage piece. And this one is 18. Now we have two of these plates. Um, these are um, also Japan vintage. Each plate is $7. And we have two of them. Just kind of average wear and tear. And as you can see, this is the mark on this one. It is called the Hampton, made in Japan, is the print. And we've got two of those, so those are $7 each. All right, on this shelf, we have some really cool driftwood. This is either lake found or ocean found driftwood. Of course, a lot lighter, you know, than if this was to be found out in the woods. Um, this driftwood piece, the first one, really neat. This one is 14. Great for air plants. Maybe putting a little line of crystals on here. This piece is from the ocean. This um, is $18 still has sand in it, which is just beautiful and fantastic. You could use this, of course, outside in your plants, on your altar. The third piece of driftwood we have is kind of like a small, it almost looks like a horn, but it is wood. It's only $5. And um, it could also be placed um, on your windowsill on an altar to kind of stack a couple crystals on used to maybe prop up a plant that is like a vining plant. It's like from a knot of a tree. This is a little denser of a piece. Here is another piece of driftwood. This one is $6. You can see it's very thin. And this piece, as it kind of reclines, could have several crystals placed along the top if you wanted to do that. Some really neat little swirls in the bottom there. And then the last piece that we have on this shelf is cool. It's kind of twisted, very leathery almost looking, 
And of course you could kind of uh, place it a couple of different ways. If you have like a snake or a little lizard at home, like these different pieces would be really cool in their cage too. Um, but of course you can have it kind of this way or you can flip it around for displaying crystals as I love to recommend for driftwood. So these are all of our driftwood pieces on the shelf. And then we have a couple more of these adorable sari bags. We've got this shelf, $5 for the light blue and purple. We have kind of a fat purple and pink. Yellow and brown. And then a really cute vintage pattern, light blue. And then also on the shelf, we have a vintage brass basket. This is all woven and is 100% brass. I think it's officially a bread basket, but of course you could store anything in it that you wanted to. And I am gonna put our sorry bags back in it. So anyway, that is our first Shop Our Shelves showcase here. here. So let's go ahead and give these guys some item numbers here. Anything that you're interested in, we have item number one, pewter mug. Item number two, green floral decoration, vintage. Item number three, our Belgian apothecary jar. Item number four, the lovely conch shell. Item number five, offering bowl. Item number six, vintage masher or macerator. Item number seven, sorry bag one. Item number eight, ultra claw, 36 by 36. Item number nine, Japanese bowl. Item 10, tan vase. Item number 11, purple ultra cloth, 36 by 36. Item 12, our first platter, Japanese. Item number 13, we have the pair of plates, $7 a piece, so it'll be 14 for both of them. And we have item number 14, Driftwood 1, 15, Driftwood 2, 16, Driftwood 3, 17, Driftwood 4, and 18, Driftwood 5. All right, and now we have our brass bread basket, which is going to be item number 19. And then items 20, we have sorry bag number two, pink and purple. Sorry bag three, brown and yellow. Bag four, vintage light blue. And bag five, light blue and purple.